Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Firearms of America, and today I have some Dunham Cloud hiking boots for review for you guys. So, if you're in a rush, as always, pretty good boots. I like them through all my tests and all my checks, whatever I do on this channel. Get them. But if you do have time, let's get into reviewing this boot. So, very quickly, they are rated for almost a little bit more than four stars over a thousand reviews on amazon so pretty good reviews they range between 120 and 145 dollars currently amazon on amazon depending on the color and the price that you will choose there are actually four different color options this particular one is called for some reason gray even though to me this is more brown but they also do have the brown which is browner <laughs> and then they have a slate black and the slate gray uh the boots as you can see they look pretty cool the design is is very nice uh but this is not really something that bothers me too much whenever it comes to the design of the boots i am more about practicality so as you probably already know this particular review is specifically for our ultimate survival boots section and a few days before hurricane dorian which today is august 31st yes a few days before hurricane dorian this seems to be a pretty applicable pretty important thing to consider you know a good survival boots so what do we do differently in this survival boots review well we judge by a several different criteria. the very first one is the comfort level let's talk about the comfort so in order to test the comfort of these boots what i've done with my special test that i do for all of the boots in this channel it's a three mile run five mile walk and the total wear time without taking off the boots was probably about eight hours so some extensive wearing of these boots and i can tell you guys these boots are very comfortable they're not really you know on the whenever it comes to weight i i wouldn't call them too light or and i wouldn't call them too heavy they are somewhere in the middle so there's really nothing special about the weight if you take them i know they're cold cloud but i i i had some lighter hiking boots so not nothing specific nothing crazy about these boots whenever it comes to weight uh, whenever it comes to the inner sole, the, it is that jelly type of surface, so it does take off some impact. The bottom sole is pretty flexible, as you can see, so whenever you're running, you can actually run properly without putting stress uh, on your ankles and unnecessary stress on your knees. So that, that, that is pretty good. So on the comfort level, I would give these boots a solid 8 out of 10, uh, because, like I said, the inner sole is pretty soft is pretty good not as smart i would say as for example ortholite i think ortholite is a little bit superior to this one uh, because it is still sort of jelly but at the same time more firm this one is i think too soft so over time i feel like you might start getting some stress uh, on your food just because it's just a little bit too soft it's a little bit too jelly okay so let's get into the criteria number two is uh, proofing and protection these boots are advertised as waterproof which is a nice plus but because they are very low uh, they sit pretty much right at your ankle there's really not much point personally I don't see a lot of point on um, having these boots in the waterproof uh, variation because you know waterproof fabric is a little bit heavier fabric so you they could have saved some weight and made it lighter without making them waterproof uh just because they're you know low if if they were mid if the ankle size if the shaft was a little longer then i guess it makes sense you know if you step into a deeper puddle for example you you you, you need that waterproofing but this 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 is just not you know not deep enough because as you can see really you only have about four inches before you know water just starts pouring in inside uh still waterproofing nice to have but honestly i think on this boots is you know pointless another thing that this boots feature is the uh slip resistance which is pretty cool i have to admit but again in uh, 
you know, in a hiking situation, I'm not sure if it's necessary, you know, having that slip resistance. And whenever it comes to slip resistance, I'm talking about, you know, shiny surfaces like tile and stuff, uh, marble. Not sure if you're gonna need that very much on your hiking trail, because these boots are hiking after all. Anyway, let's talk about the quality and the design features, which is the number three criteria in our survival boot section. Um, as I already mentioned, there are over a thousand reviews on Amazon and it's four plus stars, most of them. So very positive feedback on this boot. So the quality, vi quality wise, Dunham did pretty good job. They bo these boots definitely do last pretty nicely. Now the design features, I like them too, as you can see. These boots do feature all the metal hardware, which is nice. I like it because, you know, whenever you're tightening your strings, you don't want to worry about snapping those plastic uh, hooks. <laughs> Obviously, here you're not going, going to. The strings are nice, but uh, I don't know if they're going to last for too long, these particular strings, because as you can see, there's already some wear on my string, and I only wore it a few times throughout this past two weeks yeah not 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 cool um, another thing I can mention here in the design features is the ease of putting these boots on I I'm happy with that it's very easy to put them on probably because the shaft is not too long and you have that nice opening to get your foot in and also because it features the open uh, side hooks here where you can quickly go over and Bam, you're done. Uh, also, whenever it comes to the protection, which is also another design feature, they do feature some moderate protection here on the toe, which is nice. It will protect you from light impact on the trail. You know, if you hit a branch or, you know, a small rock, it will protect. But as you can see, it is, you know, it is only moderate. It's not a hard, you know, polymer or anything like that that's just a decent um, strength rubber there is no really protection at all whenever it comes to ankles uh, the sides here or the heel there is nothing everything is soft so keep that in mind all right let's move on to the next one and it's the outsole and traction and as you remember I already mentioned that the outsole is actually advertised as slip resistance which, you know, it is nice, but, you know, at the same time, it's, it's kind of pointless on the trail. Um, but, you know, you have it, you have it. It's nice. <laughs> um, I've tested these boots, these particular boots, on a few different surfaces. It was the uh, rocky road I have. It was the tarmac, the asphalt, uh, the wet grass and the sand they perform very well on all of these services so pretty good the only service that i think these boots would not do a very good job would be something like ice and snow just because there isn't enough aggression to to do it on the snow but it, it's just my personal opinion keep it at that you know i unfortunately don't have a way to test it on ice or snow because i live in florida yes which brings us to the next criteria is the temperature now I tested these boots in about 100 degrees outside temperature yeah running in these boots no problems at all they are very breathable I am very very happy with that my feet did not overheat at all so I think for a uh, hot climate these boots would be fantastic you're gonna love them for cold climate I don't know I would love to hear some comments from people who have these boots or who buy these boots in the cold climate and then just tell me how well they perform if it's too cold or not but there is just some tiny bit of insulation here uh, and I'm sure if you you know get some good uh, warm socks to go with these boots you will do fine unless it's you know uh, deep snow because obviously there isn't much height going here to protect you from that let's talk about the sizing number six uh, sizing is perfect I had absolutely no problems with the sizing uh, they, they they fit me perfect so you know they are true to the size so whatever size you need to buy whatever size shoes you usually buy just get half a size bigger for the boots it's a good practice to do it okay so let's talk about number seven which I think is one of the most important things 
whenever it comes to uh, you know your survival boots it's the balance of application you know if this was your last pair of boots you know shoes in general that you put before you know a hurricane hurricane dorian that is coming in two days if this was my last pair that i had and i put it on and the hurricane is really bad and everything is flooded and i have to leave my house because i have no electricity or my supplies run out and i had to walk for miles until i reach the safety or i had to run because someone is chasing me and trying to steal resources that i already have <laughs> you get the point whatever your mind can come up in a crazy survival scenario you know <laughs> well, like i said for me right now it is it is pretty uh it is pretty applicable and i'm, I'm happy i have a few choices of these ultimate survival boots to choose from right now <laughs> uh, and in fact that's actually what got me inspired to start doing this survival gear in general because exactly two years ago it was a hurricane Irma here and the only pair of more or less applicable uh, shoes that I had to wear in the flood and all the debris that were outside that the mess that uh, Irma created it was my work boots and they were heavy they were uncomfortable and they were advertised as waterproof and they weren't and it was absolutely a terrible choice you know it's it was bad so after that I thought you know what I have to be prepared a little bit better so overall balance of application I would give these boots um, a good 7 out of 10 um, I think they are pretty good they definitely are good candidates on our uh, ultimate survival boot list so you know I think I think with all the features that, that they come with with a little bit of protection here being the waterproof featuring the you know metal hardware and of course pretty versatile uh, outer sole and overall good comfort I think they do deserve you know to be somewhere on this list I think they're definitely deserve so so 7 out of 10 I think that's fair and the last one number 8 criteria here uh, in this review is the price like I said the price they feature uh, between about hundred and twenty dollars and hundred and forty dollars currently on Amazon depending on the price and the size now what do I personally think about this price I think the price is fair for these boots but at the same time uh, I also believe that there are some pretty pretty tough competitors to these boots in that price range and uh, if you go through my uh, list of suggested videos and uh, the reviews that I've already done on this channel for some hiking boots out there in that price range you will find out quite a few of them so <laughs> uh, personally if I had $140 to spend I would go with something else so at the end of the day while the price I think is fair with all the features I think to be more competitive Dunham they kind of need to to drop that a little bit more that's just my personal opinion though so <laughs> I don't know uh, well I think that would be it about this review let me know guys what you think and uh, you know if you found this review useful please subscribe every subscriber definitely counts on this channel if you have any particular requests for any boots out there let me know in the comments below and I will try to get my hands on those boots thank you very much guys for watching I am off to prepare for uh, some hurricane